Hi, I'm Gina Farrar, creator and host of Feminine Roadmap Podcast and CEO of Warrior Women Live, a life-changing program that helps you master your mindset, rewrite your stories, and fight for your dreams. I want to welcome you to day seven of my seven-day Master Your Mindset series, and congratulations for walking this journey with me. As I reviewed yesterday, let's do that again today. Day one was M, make up your mind. Is it true? Is it excellent? Does it serve me? Day two, be intentional. Day three, nurture the good, nurture the excellent, nurture what serves you. Day four, D, dig deep and be determined when the going gets tough and it's difficult to hang in there and make the changes that you really want to make. Day five, S, simplify. Keep it simple, my friends. Take it one bite at a time. Don't try to eat that entire elephant in one meal. Don't try to make a quantum leap in one day. Day six was E, raising your expectation. Really expecting great results from these changes that you're making, knowing that you are going to get different and better results. Which brings us to day seven. Day seven is T. And T stands for thankfulness and gratitude. There's two T's in gratitude, so I'm going to borrow those and put them in here. Gratitude and thankfulness, my friends. This is an attitude and a mindset that puts you in place to really begin to see the good in your life. What are those things that bring joy, peace, comfort, just general happiness. It has been shown that people who practice thankfulness and gratitude, meaning that you really take in how you feel, that gratitude, and express your thankfulness for it, express your gratitude for it. It's actually great for your health. When we shift our mindset, if you'll remember a few days back, I talked about how the brain literally shifts when we think negative thoughts and how we can reclaim those negative damaging thoughts and build new positive um, life-giving thoughts and how the brain literally changes when we do that. The practice of thankfulness and gratitude literally piggybacks on that and compounds the positive impact on our brains when we take the time to acknowledge the things that we are thankful and grateful for. Now, you've probably heard this before. It's not exactly an earth-shattering piece of information, but writing down in a gratitude journal the things that you are thankful and grateful for, it helps us to not only be aware of what we're grateful and thankful for, but to see it. And it begins to have that effect, like I said, on our brains. And when our brains are healthier, the things we say and do become healthier and our relationships improve, our job experiences improve, our health improves, our outlook on life improves. As a matter of fact, the more that we practice thankfulness and gratitude, it actually lowers the cortisol level in our bodies. It actually helps fight depression and anxiety and negative, any negative feeling that you might succumb to. Gratitude is a powerful tool. It is a mindset shift to move away from looking at the things that we don't like to the things that we do like. It could even be as simple as loving clouds. For me, I am grateful for beautiful skies when there's clouds in the skies. I am grateful and thankful that the night sky has stars in it. I'm grateful and thankful for the laughter in my walls, in my home, that my family laughter is something that we share together. It doesn't have to be deep, profound things. As a matter of fact, if you were to take a piece of paper and every day just write five things that you're grateful for, at the beginning of your day, and then read those five things at the end of your day, every day. So you're bookending your day with gratitude. Do that for seven days and see how you feel. Developing that attitude of gratitude, just really being thankful for the life you have, 
the blessings in your life, the people in your life, the experience in your life, the things that bring you joy, it literally changes what happens in your brain. It changes your uh, em emotional and physical and mental state. So as we wrap up these seven days together, I do want to express my gratitude and my thankfulness for you for taking this journey with me, for sticking it out with me, and for being willing to hear from my heart the things that have helped me to continue this journey of up-leveling my mindset so that I can begin to be a better impact in the world around me, in my family, my home, my community, my business. Again, I want to thank you so much for joining me on this seven days. And if you have anything you want to share with me, please leave me a comment. I hope this really has been impactful for you. And again, I am grateful that you have joined me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.